What is going on guys? This is your boy Easley Jackets here bringing you guys an NBA 2K15 face scan tutorial. I know a lot of people have been struggling with this. I did for, you know, weeks upon the game's release. And um, after, you know, toying with it for a little bit, figuring out what it likes, what it doesn't like, um, my results got closer and closer. And now I kind of figured out exactly what I need to do to perfect this. Um, this tutorial is directed specifically for people who have the Xbox One. That's the console that I have. And we are the ones that are experiencing the most difficulty. Um, I think that has to do with the camera. And as you can see here, my finished result is a lot better than what we started with. Um, so I'm going to give you guys some tips to avoid, you know, the alien faces, the dark faces. Um, coming out with, you know, multiple noses, multiple lips, and all that stuff. So here, here we go. Here's the tips. Um, you want to put your camera on a flat surface. Stay upright, don't lean, keep your face in the box, have equal lighting on all sides of your face, turn your head annoyingly slow, straight left and straight right, and edit the features to your liking. So I'm going to go into a little bit of detail about what I mean when I say keep your face in the box. So you see here, the, the box is red, so ignore that. It's red on purpose. I don't want it to scam me right now. But as you can see here, when I turn my head to the left and the right, my nose and my lips stay in the box. That's what you want. See, now, if you're too close to your connect, see how my lips and nose go out of the frame? What happens is the, sc the scanning camera is going to lose track of your features, and then it's going to try to put them back together. That's why people are coming out with, you know, two lips and five noses and, you know, all kind of ugly creatures because they're not, you know, keeping their head level. You also want to, you know, like I said, stay upright. So here, you know, my shoulders are down, my head is up, but I'm not, you know, keep tilting my head back or tilting my head too far forward. And I figured this out the hard way because when I first started, you know, trying this, I my connect was at kind of an awkward level. So I was up, you know, on my knees. And see what happens is when you're leaning over, you think you're turning your head, you know, directly left and right, but actually you're kind of going down at an angle. And that's not what you want. So for the most success, you know, you want to keep your head in the box so it doesn't go out. Now, another thing is the timing. So I'm doing this right here in real time. For the best possible scan, you have to turn your head so slow that it almost like you almost want to explode. Like if, if you're getting impatient with this kind of technology, speeding up how quick you're turning your head isn't going to solve anything. So like I said, you know, um, you want to have the absolute, you know, best scan. You got to turn your head really, really slow and make sure that it's in the box. Okay, so another thing is that with the lighting. So I was lucky, lucky enough that my friend Steven let me borrow um, his lamp. And uh, his lamp basically is three lamps in one. So it's really awesome. And you can put them at whatever angles you want. And I'll show you guys that picture right here. So as most of you guys know, I go to North Carolina State. And I'm in college. I'm living in the dorms. I don't have all these resources, you know, expensive photography lights, you know, or my, my setup's not next to the window. So I don't have direct sunlight coming in like they tell you to do. So, you know, basically this is a makeshift, you know, put together best you can get. As you can see, I have light coming from all possible angles, you know, a little bit beneath my chin because it kept on missing, you know, my lips area and my nose area is really messing up there. Coming on both sides of my face and then also shining down from above. So, you know, the lighting obviously is what every tutorial will tell you is one of the most important things because, you know, this is obviously really, really high tech. It's a mapping a 3D image of your face and you can't expect that to get right unless it can see, you know, different depths, different shades of your face. So in review, the key tips I have for you guys when working on this face scan, especially on the Xbox One, are to put your camera on a flat surface. The more level, the better your scan is going to come out. Also, you know, stay upright. Get it at a good height to the point where you don't have to lean over to be in the box. Otherwise, you know, you're going to be going at an angle and you're going to come out with two pairs of lips. Um, don't lean. Keep your face in the box. I showed that earlier. Have equal lighting. Um, if you've got lamps like I have right there, that's the best you're going to get. Turn your head really, really slow. And my last tip for you guys is to edit the features to your liking. So basically what I did was said, hold up, let me take a selfie. And I took a selfie of myself from straight on and then from the side. And I compared it to the TV screen and said, okay, what, what features are a little bit off? And then fix those features until I was happy with the final result. So those are the absolute best tips I can get for you guys. If you guys have any questions about what you see here or, or what problems you're having, you know, post that below in the comments. I'll do my best to help you out. And also, you know, if you guys want to see um, my my player Easley Jackets in action, then go ahead and subscribe to my channel and you can check um, out my My Career series. And uh, hopefully, you know, you guys will enjoy that. So thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to hit the like button if uh, this video helped you so more people can find it. 
And, um, you know, comment, whatever you have to say. Subscribe. This is DC Jackets, guys. I'll see you guys next time.